Hello viewers and welcome as we grid up or just get ready to start a VRS GT sprint race driving the Ferrari GT3 car Road America I'm pretty sure it's not top split on car number 7 uh, well, we've got 2.2 SOF here qualified way down in 21st we've got a what is it here 20 so quick okay, check 27 car grid number one goal is to survive we need to catch up to car number 15 okay Robert be ready they going, putting they going. No, no, they're not. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Okay, decent clean start there, though. On your left. Famous last words. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. So yeah, I qualified badly, but um. Left. I'm quite confident Still there. I can move forward in the Watch race. Clear left. We'll see if we can, but um starts okay. We're still in good shape here. Number one goal. On your right. In the car home clean. Right. I'll keep the car clean. Good clean start though. Big check up there in front of me. Thank you to uh, Diego behind me for not running over me. Car left. Hold your line. Oh, one or two off back there. Still there. On the left. Turn eight. Looks like Berka. Clear left. There's a couple of freebies, first couple of freebies of the race. Hopefully not the last, because we're going to need some if we can make a good result out of this. Or even a respectable result. Well, a good first lap, I'd say. Coming around the last corner. Kept the car clean, and we've moved up. I think about three or four spots in that lap. We're at now P20. start getting a move on now though. I think that's what everyone's going to think and then that's where you end up having the the moments. Probably going to go defensive against Diego behind me down here. The defensive almost turned into an offensive. The um, Michael in front of me was very early on the brakes there. Left side. Oh, that. Left. Uh, he's sending it, but a bit of a late send there. Now I'm defending it against him. Car right. Clear right. On your left. Clear left. He's attacking me in. I'm not going to say in the wrong spots, but. better for him to make a pass um, on the straight race, basically. Or maybe he hasn't got a straight line speed. Oh, 
kind of bracing for impact a bit there. Maybe if you move, I thought he was going to send it. I could see he was getting far behind him, just thinking about attacking him as well. So it's it's all good though. Good first um, two laps now. Two laps in the bank. Just keep it clean. B will be. We've to have pulled away a little bit, get a bit of space in front of us and behind us, likewise. Here on the left, seems to be a popular an incident in turn eight. instant like hotspot. Get right onto the um, rear of Macau now. He sent it. He sent it a lot. Whoa. Well, we'll take it. I think that was almost possibly caused by my presence. It was more of a, I don't know if he was going for that or he's just trying to almost outbreak me and That was a late lunge if it was uh, an intended pass. We'll take it though, another spot gain for us. Okay Robert, come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits, apexes and exits. P18. Could almost oh, guarantee that a, that would be a 4x contact for the guy in front of us and the guy that he hit. The old incident limit on this track. Car track combo. Or series track combo. Can um see it being be a problem for some people over the course of the week. So it's getting a bit racy up in front of us. Oh crap. Slightly too hot there. What that little move by him in front of me did has done on the previous lap is created a nice little bit of space behind us now. I seem to really get close to him in this section of the lap. Might have a look at it into the um oh I didn't expect him to break there. Oh, he actually put the brakes on in the kink. Might lift in the kink, but not break. But again, I don't... I've not driven the Audi at all. It's not a car I drive. I mean, it's not really a series I drive. So I don't really know how that Audi might... need to be driven through the kink. But he looks like he's actually starting to attach himself to the back of the car in front of him. Oh, someone running a bit wide up there, the white car. A little bit offline. I 
but we've just got to keep going with it for the time being. We could actually... Might be worth thinking about like, trying to do a bit of fuel saving. If we can't make move forwards... Ooh, that was a bit... They really are... I mean, we are slow. The guys behind us are catching us. So, this pack in front of me is... Definitely holding me out of feel right now. Well, it is what it is. I can't really. I'll deal with what we got and work with what we got. Up to P18, it's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. If we could try and get a top 15 or top 14, maybe like top half of the race, result wise, I'd be quite happy. That's weird, like. This last sector, I feel like I drop off the guys in front of me through the, um, the slower sector onto that. Is it like carousel um, corner? I definitely feel like I gain massively. Or well, not massively, but. Quickest lap, so. As slow as it sounds, or seems, or feels at least, the Delta doesn't lie a bit loose there. That's the other thing as well. It's like, even when you, you can be going quick in the crowd, and it feels like you're going slow. Only when you get out of the crowd, you realise how quick you was going. So having said that, I do think we, I don't think we've been going quick. I mean, the lap times are definitely down in this session. And what I'm used to, pretty hot weather. That won't help. Just keep on um, grinding out the laps. So it is kind of a marathon, not a sprint, this race. Even though it's called a sprint race. <laughs> okay, we're a bit closer. If we can get stay close to this guy out the final corner, might be able to have a run. Five. Definitely closer than I have been. Oh, one in the pits. That's the guy in front of him. That really might help me. That's his draft. That might be like perfect timing for me. Right, there we go. That worked well. That, that, per that guy in front of him pitting came at the perfect moment as well for me. Kind of took away his draft. Looks like we are kind of, I'm not going to say pulling away from him, but we're pulling up to the next guy basically. 
I think I think we are moving forwards. I didn't take note of who that guy was that pitted. Be interesting where he comes back into the picture. For the time being, let's just get up to the next car. One at a time. Hope we don't start blinking. Alright, Robert. The next car is Harris. Woo! Don't forget, guys, if you um, do enjoy these videos, please hit the thumbs up. I was supposed to say that about seven laps ago, but. <laughs> Pro, Pro YouTuber! Oh, crikey, I've screwed that up. Uh oh, uh oh, hold it, hold the brake. Free beat. There's an incident in turn one. That helps, obviously. Every little helps. Slowly moving forwards. I think we've now kind of dropped the guys behind me to some degree. Not sure what the draft range is on this on this series or these cars, but um, I'll screw this up. Oh, Robert. Oh well. Track limits. We had dropped them until that moment. So those little mistakes you don't need, but better to keep them little mistakes. And um, seen people, we've seen a few people lose it on that corner already. So um, at least we didn't do that. Kind of completely lose the rear end. Good clean run so far though. Eight laps in. And we are P15 I think now. 15th place. Obviously there's one or two cars that have pitted. Um, at least one car we know of. We will have to pit at some point. Uh, well, we've got six laps of fuel left. I need to get a move on right now. I need to close this gap on one more again. The number 23 car. Equally pull myself away from um, the cars behind me. Gained a couple of attempts in that corner. This is the thing that the difference is in the, between the field. That is a good thing that I'm really enjoying about the GT side of car driving or racing. Is that the strength of field is much more balanced than you get in other series, particularly in the open wheeler series that I normally drive more often than not. Basically, most drivers in, the, in this field are competent, shall we say. Even though this isn't a top split. 
I think we, we had over 100 sign-ups for this for this race. Uh, I think that's what's probably four splits. I'm guessing. The last lap was at three six point one zero. Definitely pulled away from the guys behind again, and pulled out onto the back of um, one ma. So I make sure I don't overdrive as well. Just keep running my laps, running my pace. Guys behind are getting pretty close together back there. Trio of them. Come on. It's just a matter of kind of working up to the back of the car and Need to work, work a tenth, work a tenth here, work a tenth there. I think I need to get them on the straights pretty much. This guy in front of me hasn't really got the draft in front of him. Maybe get a minimal draft if anything. Still not in position yet, but even if I'm maybe making him go a bit quicker by being by hounding him, it's not a bad thing. As long as we're going quicker, quicker than the guys behind us, Sector I'm quite happy. I think what the spot is trying to say is we're off the pace. Out the road, like it's almost like everyone's got a 1.3 temp um, setting gap between each other. Definitely close up there on that corner. Come on. Try and get on the power as early as possible. Good, 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 good kink. Really want to stay close to him now through this next section. Not going to go through here. Oh, he's run wide. Okay, we'll go for it then. Left side. Clear left. He cocked it up, so. Nice one, Robert. It's more trying to set him up for the um, main street coming up, but. That pressure got to him. Problem is, hopefully he doesn't go for it on me now or something. In the straight line, we'll see what he, how he feels. I think I can close up to the guy in front of us if he works with me almost. Just got to hit my marks. I think already we're starting to close in on the Anthony in front of us. I need confidence in this guy behind me on this next corner. Don't want to get killed, basically. 
Oh, cock, I missed the gear. So he, um, one ma. I missed the downshift back there. Cock out completely. Couldn't find third gear. I don't think it cost us too much at all from comparison to um, Anthony in front of us. Almost even gained a tenth despite that. Yeah, we gained a couple of tenths this lap. With a cock up, that's not too bad. We're opening up the gap now behind us to one more, which is good to see. Oh well, yeah, I could qualify. If anyone is watching and you have any tips, suggestions on for me generally to improve my qualification. It's not just in these cars, it's just across the board. Maybe it's just I'm slow, but then in the race I will always move my way forwards. But qualifying pace, I just do not have it. Okay, so the pit light is on now. Up to P11, but that's obviously, or P12, I should say. Ignore what the spotter said. Uh, where are we at? We've got another lap. We're going to go into one more lap after this. Max out the fuel as much as possible. Run the car as light as possible. For as long as possible. Critical phase of the race now. I don't know how the Ferrari's um, fuel consumption is, maybe, in comparison to any of the other cars, whether they, they are different in that sense. See people pitting at different parts of the lap, or sorry, parts of the race. Oh, back gap behind us is seemingly grown. Not sure if something happened back there. So, uh, yeah, a change of position back there, I think. So, yeah, we've got one more lap of fuel. See Stanislav going in the pits. Fuel down one click. Your last lap time was at 207.18. Your lap times are dropping off. Come on, you can do better than this. Looks like the guys behind me may have. Well, they've dropped off the pace a bit, haven't they? One more in that back there. I feel like I gain on people in that corner on the brakes. Oh, I've screwed that up a bit though. Didn't get that one right. Cost me a couple of attempts at least. Oh, top, top 10 though at the moment. Obviously, it's not kind of correct really, but. Get a good in lap. 
got to um, imagine this guy in front of me is going to pit as well. Got to make sure we don't hit him. I'll try and maximise my pit entry speed. A lot of time to be made up on the pit road. This is not one of my favourite pit road entries. The way the, the pit road goes up the bloody ramp. Well, not ramp, but hill. And just as you get over the over the crest, it um, you get the. Limiter, when about as well as could be. Okay. So we're going to take less fuel than anticipated. 100 meters. Oh. 50 meters. That might have paid off in our favour. Come on. Jump that guy in the pits. Being able to go a gallon less, basically, by um, hope. Hopefully, if it stays in our favour. Watch your mirrors. There's a car approaching. Here we go. We're going to come out. Uh, we're quite pretty clear track. Oh, hello. Wow. There's a freebie straight away. Wow. That was P7 and P. Well, I guess say P17, but he's probably not P17. That's not good for the P7 guy, whoever that was right there, Tam Thomas. Or maybe it wasn't Thomas. Don't think it was Thomas, so he wouldn't be behind me. Whoever it was, it wasn't good for them. Big gaggle behind us. We've worked the pit stop well at this stage. I'd love to get on the back of Ricardo. If for nothing more, just a bit of draft and maybe even a lap or two of um, fuel respite almost. See the fact the laps have gone down below 19. That's tipped it in my favour. We're taking a bit of fuel out of the cart. It's a great thing with caps. Live fuel calculator. Tam uh, sorry, not Tamas, Tristan in the pits. P, well, whatever he was, P13. Looks like we're going to get past him. Very comfortably. So we are, what, P9? Uh, we'll take that. We will take that right now. Long way to go yet, but... But number three behind me, who might be pretty quick. He actually seems to be pulling away from what's behind him. Which, in all honesty, isn't a bad thing. If he catches me, obviously we're going to fight for it, but we have two or three laps to go. But um, I think it puts me in the mindset of don't kill, don't lose the car at this point over one position. Better to lose one position than spin off and lose to the whole pack behind me. Right now though I need to just focus on going forwards and trying to catch Ricardo. What do you want X? Come on, power. So we've actually had a good lap here in, re in respect to Thomas behind us. He 
It's got pink wheels. Never trust cars with pink wheels. Never trust pink cars either. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to feel quite confident that we are, um, we've got behind us covered. Thomas and he hasn't really closed in much on that lap. Just well, we got three three laps to go. Just got. It's. I want to get past this guy. Oh. Got to make sure we don't lose time battling with this guy to bring Thomas into it. Got to catch him first. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> oh. That one's being DQ'd. Don't know where that guy was, but... Freebie for someone. As I was saying earlier in the race, it is... It can be a track that does... People do get DQ'd on. There is a couple of corners where you can easily get a 1x. As I've shown a couple of times. You never know, this guy in front of me might be on the limit. He's been... While well, I've been following him, he's picked up one. We know that much for sure. But it's always worth... It's odd, special on tracks like this and Spa kind of thing. Put people under pressure. Because you just don't know their instant limit situation, etc. Again, the gap behind is pretty much holding station. So again, I missed that bloody downshift to third back there. Screw. Oh! 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 That's how quick, that's how quickly it can go wrong. So nearly did there. I just caught a little bit of grass on the left rear. And that's because I didn't get the downshift. Just struggle something occasionally to get that car from fourth to third. As a result, I then end up being a little bit quicker than I should be on corner entry and um, that nearly resulted in in chaos come on gained on him there I think what I'm going to do here is if we get a chance, we're going to go for it kind of straight away. We're not going to... Sometimes I would try and think uh, it might be better to leave it until the next straight or whatever. If there's a chance, we're going for it. Even if he does draft me back up the main straight or whatever. Definitely on him. That's for sure. Possibly another one X for him. Got a much better corner entry there. Oh, we a little check up there. Oops. Well, oh, that was going to be one X, to be honest. White flag. One to go. He's weaving all over the place. Maybe another one X, possibly, for him.
again, possibly another one X there. If he is on the limit, or anywhere near the limit, he'll be worrying about that as well. So. I think we're going to be able to get him there. Oops! Oops! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Gotta stop getting that bloody rear tyre on the bloody grass. Done that. A few laps back down at the next corner. Half of the kink and done it again there. Just asking a bit too much on the um, the old tyres. Could have been worse though. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, and when all said and done, I and, oh crap. A bit of oversteer there. That's okay. I might be that. Thomas back there did close in on us, in on us a little bit in that last lap, but that be that. Car number seven, P number nine. P9. Good okay, clean race all the way well through. Um, there's nothing really to look back at on the um. Thinking about like normally there's a incident or two we need to think about looking back at after the race. Don't hit me, sir. But yeah, we'll take that. Good stuff. We had just about enough fuel left at the end there. The fuel was pretty tight, but it definitely paid off. Started 21st, finished P9. We'll take that. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the um, thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See you soon.